means millions of people will break out their grills today. In fact, a survey says 52% of Americans uh, plan to cook out or to grill over the Memorial Day weekend. Meanwhile, a new survey lists the top 10 states to get it, topping the list, Tennessee and Texas. And obviously, there's going to be a lot of debate about that. Joining me now, Frank Schmier and Kevin Haberberger of the St. Louis Barbecue Society. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. I got to start off by asking you that, you know, St. Louis didn't make the top 10 destinations for barbecue, but one restaurant did make it, uh, Pappy Smokehouse. What's your reaction to that? Did, did St. Louis get shafted a little bit? Well, I'll tell you what, Pappy's, Bogart's, Sugar Fire, Salt and Smoke. I mean, I would defy any city in the country to have as many quality barbecue restaurants as we have in a small vicinity like St. Louis, Missouri. Listen, I, I just did a little road trip through the South myself, did a lot of uh, barbecue tasting in, in Mississippi and in Texas and Tennessee. It's a lot of, you know, there's a big difference between dry rub barbecue and wet sauce barbecue. Where does St. Louis fit in on that? I always say we're right in the middle. I call uh, St. Louis sticky. You've got a lot more wet in Kansas City. You've got the dry rub in Memphis. And St. Louis falls somewhere right in between where we like a little bit of sauce, and you can see it in some of the dishes that we've got prepared this morning. Just a light glaze of sauce to give you that, that stickiness to it. That's what style I say we have. Absolutely. Sweet and sticky in St. Louis. Yeah. All right, a little bit of both so everyone can come out of the winter there. So, Frank, <laughs> Frank, let me ask you this. What, what do you have there? What you got on the table? I'll tell you what, it wouldn't be Memorial Day in St. Louis if we didn't have pork steaks. Pork steaks are indigenous to our area. If you're ever in St. Louis, you got to try pork steak. We've got some turkey, some smoked turkey. We've got St. Louis-style ribs. We've got brisket. And then we've got sort of the St. Louis version of the Juicy Lucy, where we're going to take the King of Beers, Budweiser, make a little divot in that hamburger, Kev, and then stuff it with a little pork steak, a little cheese, a little bacon, beautiful for Memorial Day and the family. The St. Louis Barbecue Society just really take, helps folks take backyard cooking to the next level. So That's what we're seeing across the country in this barbecue revolution. Is, so, so, Kevin, what shouldn't you barbecue, or is every food game? Oh, I think every food's game. I mean, one of the things I do in my blog, Extraordinary BBQ, is we try to take everything and figure out a way to do it on the grill, even, you know, a grilled mojito for a drink or pineapple, different kinds of fruits. So I think anything's game for it. I will say that my wife and I disagree from time to time where I love that smoky flavor in anything, whereas she says, ah, this may have been better served just to be prepared inside. Gentlemen, thank you guys both very much. Uh, we may give you the address to our studio if you can send us some of those recipes. <laughs> we certainly appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be glad to. <laughs> yeah. Up next, making plans for that yeah. summer vacation. Details on the best bargains just three minutes from now. Don't go away.